Hey guys, um, so here's a quick video to show you guys how to create the honeycomb valley flyer. Um, so I'm recording this from scratch so you guys can see it um, with no interruptions. So um, here's exactly what we're gonna be building. So it's got honeycomb valley flyer. You're gonna have your bee, you're gonna have this um, old west town um, and this honeycomb background with the dripping honey on the top, right? So our goal is to open up Pixlr and create a new document. And that document, uh, we're gonna make sure we open up Pixlr E, not X, that's the one that we need to work on this. And we're gonna take all the design elements that we have and we're gonna put them together in a unique way to communicate a message, right? So this is a requirement for our project. We have to have a honeybee back, honeycomb background image, honey dripping from the top, the old town in white, um, honeycomb text, and you're gonna type in the word valley and you can add the postage stamp if you would like to. It's not required, but is there. All right, so the first step is to download the graphics you need. And then you're gonna create a new uh, document inside of uh, Pixar E. Uh, the dimensions is 1920 by 1080, it's for full HD. You're gonna use your B that you developed in your previous lesson. And then you're gonna save your file as your last name slash B uh, you're going to put flyer.png. This is a typo. I'm sorry. And then you're going to submit it to Google Classroom. Okay. Um, so here is uh, my file, Pixlr. I want to get started here. My first step set on the list was to download my file. So let's do that first. So I'm going into Google Classroom. I'm looking for the assignment, Honeybee Flyer. I'm going to download the, fly, the file here. You click on the More Actions button. You're going to open a new window. So from open a new window, you click on the little download icon. And then that is gonna go to your downloads folder, okay? Just to be aware that it's going to your downloads folder. All right, so you're gonna unzip that folder. It's gonna be inside your computer. And once you unzip it, let me show you guys what that looks like. Give me a second. So once you unzip it, here's what your folder looks like, right? Your zip file is here. You're gonna double click to extract it. If you're on a Mac, you can do the same thing on a Windows computer. It's a little bit different on a Chromebook. You have to do the zip, zip extractor inside of the Chromebook on Drive. All right, so now that this is open, I'm gonna go into my folder. And in here I have one, two, three, four, five different images. They look like this. So one is a postage stamp. Um, you have the old west image. You have the dripping honey, the honeycombs, and the text that says honeycomb in here. Those are all the files you need. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back to my window here. So now that I have those files, I'm not all set to go because I'm missing my B. So I'm gonna go over into Vector, which I already have open and logged in. And I want to download just the bee, everything that belongs to the bee's body. So all these other elements that's around, I'm going to hide them. So you hide them by clicking the little eye here. So again, you click on them, click on the eye, click on them, click on the eye, and you can hide each part, okay? So after you hide all of those, you're going to download your B. So you're gonna click export here, change this to PNG, make sure it says PNG, and then you're going to click download. And that's gonna also go to your downloads folder, okay? So from your downloads folder um, at this point, now that you have everything and your, your Pixar E is open, we're gonna create according to the slide, create a new Pixar E document, dimensions are full HD. So you click on the create new button in, in Pixar E. So here's create new, full HD is right here. So click on that and then you click create. Boom, now I have my document. So now I wanna drag and drop some images in here or I'm gonna show you guys two different ways of doing this. So you can simply go to your folder, which you, I know you guys can't see inside of the, the, um, the recording, but you can drag and drop and then you click add to current, right? If you're on a Mac or a Windows computer. Another way you can do it is you can go to layers 
And in layers, you're gonna click on add image as layer. And you're gonna to navigate to where your photos are located. So all your photos should be in there. Um, I'm gonna add in the background one that's here. Great. Oops, what did I do? Undo. Okay, so anytime you make a mistake, just click Command Z for undo or go to edit undo. Same thing. All right, so undo. I made another mistake. Let me go to my selection tool. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna resize it by grabbing the handles here. So try to get it to fit within the window. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit outside. It's okay, keep dragging out. You can zoom in by hitting Command Plus and Command Minus. Now, my text that I create have here is hidden. So I'm gonna drag this up so it's on top. I'm also gonna resize this and place it here. And I'm gonna rotate it slightly. Boom, I have that there. Now I'm happy with that. Next, I wanna add in my B and I'm gonna drag and drop those. Again, I'm, there's two ways to add in images and I'll show you guys both. So I'm gonna drag in my image with my B. As soon as I find it, hold on a second. Oh, here we go. So here's my B. Add to current. So here's my B. I'm placing him where he needs to go. And he's going to live right there. All right. So now let's look at my example that I gave you guys that was on the slides. So now I have my B. I need to type in the word valley. I have to add this image and I have to add the honey dripping, right? So let's go to my other steps. I'm going to leave this up so we can go back and forth. All right, so let's add in our other images. So again, you can go to layer, add image as a layer, and I'm gonna do the dripping honey one. So I'm gonna click open. So now this is here. Again, I'm gonna resize this to fit, but I wanna get rid of all these other things that's here first. So let's get rid of the vector stock thing first. I'm gonna use this. This is our marquee selection tool and allows us to ask to create specific selections of areas by drawing a triangle, uh, not a triangle, a rectangle, sorry. So now I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna press the button delete on my keyboard or backspace on your, on your Windows computer. This will remove the pixels from that area. Um, if your crawling ants are still there, the lines, you're gonna hit Command D to deselect, or you can hit go up to select and deselect to get rid of it. If I'm going too fast, remember you can pause the video and rewind, okay? I'm just doing this for the video purpose. All right, so now I wanna use my magic wand, which is here to remove pixels. So, and I'm gonna press delete. So let's look at the interface a little bit because I didn't go over that in initially in the video. So over here you have your toolbar. This is your sub menu where all your tools adjust for whatever, your sub menu adjusts for whatever tools you're selecting. Over here you have your layers and here you have history. If you made a mistake and you're not sure where you went wrong, instead of clicking undo a million times, just look through this list of steps that you took and you can go back. So here's my wand. That was the last thing I did right here. So I'm gonna press the lead again to apply the wand. And then now this image is here. So I have, I wanna deselect these crawling ants by hitting command D or again, you can go to select and deselect, but let's move this up. This goes to the very top. Make it a little bigger and put it here. I want to get rid of those little white circles. So again, what tool am I going to use? The magic wand. So I'm going to go over to the magic wand and get rid of these white circles in here. So that's delete and delete. So we're all good. And I'm going to deselect. My text, if you look at my example on the slide, is above the dripping honey. So we need to move that. So I'm gonna go over here. And that is right there. Cool. All right, so we're halfway there. So our last step, we're gonna add in one more image. But before we add that image, let's do something um, that we need to do. We're gonna add in our text for Valley. So the text tool is right here is the letter T. I'm gonna click 
and it's going to ask me if I want to add in a new text layer. I'm going to click add, of course. Then you're going to type in the word valley. Apparently, I can't spell today. There you go. All right. I'm going to change the font on the top in my sub menu. So it's font that I prefer. So I'm just going through it. All right, so let's say I use that one. I want to change the color of my font to white. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make it slightly a little bit bigger. So you can make it as big as you want. Um, I think I, in, in my original design, I had it as big as matching the letters. You can do that if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Um, I'm going to rotate this and kind of fit it here. And put this up a little bit higher. All right, so that's there. So if you notice, this has an outline, a black line around the text. I want to add a black line around my word valley. So how do I do that? Um, in when you're working with your text, um, you know, go back to your text tool. And in here, when you're selecting your text, it has a little icon that says styles. So when you click on styles, you want to add uh, an outline and you're going to check, check your color off to whatever color you want. I'm going to make it a little dark brown for my outline, but it's up to you what you want to do. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to change the size of it to something a little bit smaller. And that's pretty much it. So now I have an outline for my text. Again, my B is underneath. I don't want him there, so I'm going to move him. So I'm going to use my select tool, look for my B over here, and I'm going to bring him to the very top by dragging my layers. So he's there. So we have one more cool piece to add in, and we're pretty much done. All right, so here is the last step. So again, I'm going to add my last image. I'm going to go to my folder. I'm going to find the one with the old West Town silhouette. I'm going to drag and drop and add that in. So now this is here. I'm going to resize it. I want to get rid of all this white. Let me use the magic wand tool. I'm going to press delete and click on all the little white area to remove it. OK, so I'm not going to do the whole entire thing. I just doing this for demonstration purposes for you guys to see. Um, but you can see how you can click on all the little white areas and just press the button delete on your keyboard and remove those pixels. OK, you're just making it transparent. Like I said, I'm doing as many as I can um, speed it up for the video. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, so what we want to do is we don't want this to be black on the bottom, actually. We want to change the old town to be white, just like the text. And we also want it to have an outline. So how do we do that? With our paint bucket, right? We're going to pick a color white first. You're going to click OK. Then you're going to use your paint bucket to simply just drag and drop, I mean, to drop in some color. So the color that I want to drop in and make sure your selection tools is off by hitting Command D. I'm going to drop in white and it changes everything to white. OK, you might have to go around around the petals of the fan to change that, but everything else should be white. If you can't see something, make it bigger by resizing it or zooming in your choice. So now this is here. I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to make some minor corrections by using my paint bucket to click here and add in, in those that color for white. Okay, I'm almost done. All right, so now that's there. That's fine. I can go in here and change these. All right, so those are there. I want to add a cool uh, outline of effect, right? So I can go up to filter. And I'm going to click on the words that says outline. It's kind of like the stroke that you see around the, um, the text. I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to do like a dark brown. I'm going to resize it so it's a little smaller. It goes here. I'm going to hit apply. 
And I'm going to move this down a little bit more. So again, I want my B to be on the very top. So I'm gonna rearrange this where I grab my B and put it above the, the road, the old town. And I'm pretty much done. So that is my flyer at this point with all the images added in, all the elements. Um, you can try to make design it however you want. You can spruce it up and add in extra images. It's up to you. You can add in um, shapes. There are shapes in here um, that you can look at. All the shapes are located up here. Um, and you can play around with it and make the design your own, okay? So that's pretty much it. Um, what you can do now, um, you can one, say hit file, save, and then you make sure you click PNG, you name it. Um, you can put your last name and then put um, honey flyer. The word flyer in here. And then it should add PNG for you automatically. So you hit download. And that's the file that you'll upload for your assignment on Google Classroom, okay? So that's pretty much it. This automatically saves in your profile. So if you click on um, and you go back into your home, your file will be here, okay? I have multiple of them, so don't worry. And again, you can change your names down here. Um, you can put honeycomb flyer if you want to label, if you're into labeling things like me, okay? But that's up to you. All right, guys, enjoy. I will, that's pretty much it. We're all good, okay? All right, so just make sure you meet all the requirements that it states here. You have the honeycomb background, dripping honey without the white, the old town in white, um, use the text and you typed in the word valley. You can add the poster stand if you want to, it's optional, but it's there, okay? So that's pretty much it. Thanks, later, bye.